after extracting the features and uh, learning from some geoprocessing tools now we are going to transform the projection or transform the crs from one coordinate reference system to another so we can see that in our case the layers are in the geographic coordinate system under wgs 84 datum so we are going to change it to utm projection so we will use this transformation of crs which is also known as reprojection so we are going to change it uh, from wgs 84 gcs geographic coordinate system to wgs 84 utm 45n so it is made 44n because uh, the sudur paschim province falls in the boundary of utm 44n so if you have uh, selected different province then you have to se select the projection accordingly so in this uh, tutorial i will tell you how to reproject a layer from one system to another uh, there are various ways to accomplish a thing in gis so i'll tell you two different methods of reprojecting so first of all let us use this sudur paschim and right click this one and export save features as so we have done this before but this time what we do is we select a different geo package layer province 07 utm and name the layer same as sudur paschim but this time we change the crs from uh, this WGS84 GCS to WGS84 UTM44N. So if it is not listed here, then we can find it from here. For example, uh, if we click this globe icon and search this 44N, then we can find this. If you have uh, used this coordinate reference system before, then it will be listed here otherwise you can find from here so uh, we have different datums but same utm zone but uh, this time we are going to use wgs84 we don't use this uh, datum so let us select this one so we can see that it covers the western part of nepal and now this new geo package file will be created and saved so we can see that it is shown above this layer now uh, i will tell you another way of doing this and let us change the projection of municipality so in this method we use reprojection so if you type reproject here then you can see that reproject layer tool is under processing toolbox if the processing toolbox is not visible then you can show it from here so now uh, we double click this reprojection and now for example uh, we select the district and new projection uh, will be listed here as we have already used this one and finally we save this layer into this G utm geo package and uh, keep the name as district so this is also very simple okay there are two uh, name districts with same name 
so new one we just remove here and reproject layer and after also reverb we reproject to utm zone 44n and save it to geo package same geo package and it is river so river is also created uh, now remaining is the road so we reproject the road layer so all are same and I am just repeating the same process and name is road so we have this road mm, now from here itself we can again change the layer uh, airport we don't need to uh, display this tool every time so airport layer and uh, this target crs is already chosen and we can change uh, just change here is also possible because we know that it will be uh, saved to the same file just the layer name is different so we run this one now airport is also here and final is municipality is remaining so now we change the layer name municipality okay, here and then change the name of the table as municipality So now all the layers are created already and as I had told you, you can save uh, the style of any layer uh, by using properties and then in the, when the symbol is selected in the style you can select save style i have already selected uh, saved this all this so like airport.qml i have saved all this so but still so i'll be using this these styles in my next video and i will close this one and uh, so we have completed it